Hello and welcome back to part welcome to part two of my quadraphonic records record albums and collection. Next we've got Trans Electronic Music Productions presents Switched on Bach, Virtual Electronic Performances of Bach Favorites by Wendy Carlos. I've got the stereophonic version of this classic and both sound fantastic. I think this quadraphonic album has some extra stuff mixed in than the stereo version doesn't have but anyway both both albums are fantastic this was released in 1968 originally I went on to win three Grammys and was number one on the classical charts for many years how I became hooked on Swish Thumbach and Wendy Carlos is when I watched was watching on one of my favorite Saturday morning shows that's cat they did they did a segment on mail carriers and the post office and inside the post office that's where they played a piece of Winnie Carlos's um, Bread and Brick and Children number three the final movement and then years later I found box greatest hits on Columbia Records and they had that track and of course that led to Swish Tom Bach which was would be exactly 20 years this June. I found a copy of Switch on Bach at a thrift store and the rest is history. Anyways, pick up Switch on Bach in both quad and stereo. Fantastic albums. It still is. Next we have Johnny Mathis doing songs from Neil Diamond, Song Song Blue featuring Play Me. Not only does he do, does he cover Neil Diamond songs, he also does the Bee Gees' Run To Me, Where Is The Love, which was performed by Roberta Flack and the late Donny Hathaway, Bill Withers' Lean On Me, and How Can I Be Sure, which was done by the Roscoes. Great vocals, great, great music here. What's really funny is after I bought this 79 cents but 95 cents excuse me but it was less I think I got this for less than 95 cents due to the fact that they had a 50% off sale anyways very good now we have Pinka Zuckerman plays and conducts Vivaldi's The Four Seasons with the English Chamber Orchestra this I have in stereo but I was surprised to find that the stereo copy was a quad album. So I got two quad out versions of this, I guess. Or at least it says it. Let me show you. Now, like I said before, I've got both stereo and quad albums of some of these out LPs. Now here's the original stereo, or at least it looks like it's stereo. Doesn't mention quad on the cover. There you go. No MS, just a plain number. The great album, nevertheless. Now, if we can. Now, you can't see it because of this dark label, but it actually says quad or Q A L. It says QAL if I can. QAL is the same as this, except this one says MQ. We'll get to that little discussion about the uh, different numbering this a little later. Yeah, MQ. I guess the stereo version I have is in quad also. But regardless of the matter, you'll notice the surround in surround sound like the Brenda Brick and Chittle album I showed you. The last last video. Now here's something a little different. We know that's Barbara Streisand featuring the way we were. But what's different about this album, it looks like 
and you probably wouldn't notice this until you zoom up here and you see seeing that it's quadraphonic. The stereo version would just look like this, so I would say the way we were. But it looks like a stereo album, but no more gold gold bordering on the quadraphonic albums. Same thing with this one by This is a version this is a performance of Four A's Requiem by the very sort of featuring an organist. This is all in Japan. The Tokyo Metropolitan Choir. The Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. You'll see in big bl in blue letters right on the top. This album is recorded. This is an SQ quadrophonic disc, but it's compatible playing in regular stereo. See, no gold bordering. This one, this has some great music. I have to listen to this more. But, little ex some of these albums feature this inner sleeve here, telling, telling you all the different albums that are released in quadraphonic, the two different decoders, and an explanation of quadraphonic sound. See, minus the gold bordering on the album covers, it still has this gold, board, um, gold label. Next, I've got Andre, Andre Watts with Eric Lindsdorf conducting the London Symphony Orchestra as, he, as, they, as they perform two classical pieces by, for piano and orchestra, one by Litz and one by Franck. No gold bordering, but still have the, has the gold label. Next we've got this one by um, Aaron Neville conducting the Academy of the Saint of Saint Martin in the Fields, and we've got Mendelssohn Concerto, um, Mendelssohn two Mendelssohn piano concertos performed by Mary Perahia. This has the original price tag, price at nine. At five ninety-eight. Yet the um, if you look, look closely here. If we can, if I can get some lighting. Anyway, this is rig suggested price, seven ninety-eight. They have it marked down to five ninety-eight. I guess classical music was selling, selling less in the stores originally. Now we've got Percy Faith and his orchestra doing some pieces from Hollywood. Some from Hollywood. From movies featuring the entertainer from the sting the theme from from tubular, tubular bells a fifth movement by Mike Oldfield which of course was used in the exorcist 